Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Blakeney. Been here before. I've been to this exact spot before. Um, water is, I wouldn't say it's really high, but it's higher than it was the last time I was here. And the rapids look, the rapids look amazing. So I'm here to do some long exposure, free well neutral density filters. So I'm going to try those. And I flew the drone and uh, the trail goes further down and I've never been down that way so I'm going to go down there and see if there's any shots I can get down there. It is a little overcast today. The sun is out but it's kind of like diffused light. Either way I'm going to still need the neutral density filters. So I'm going to try maybe some abstract shots. Uh, the clouds do have texture in them. I can see some off in the distance there. They look pretty cool. Uh, so it's Sunday right now. On Friday night, uh, everything was perfect for astrophotography and I wanted to go out. I looked at, uh, I'll put it up on the screen, uh, but it's this, uh photo i forget what it's called the photographers i can't pronounce the word but anyways you can use that and it tells you certain things like it'll tell you the moon phase you're in it'll tell you um uh when the sun before sunrise is at a certain degree below the horizon it'll tell you when it, it's good for astrophotography and then when it gets to a certain degrees it starts the light even though the sun hasn't popped up yet it, it tells you when it starts to interfere with uh, trying to get uh, good shots of the Milky Way or anything like that so and Google Earth so Google Earth showed the Milky Way was in this uh, certain position I just noticed all these mayflies oh my god Jeez. So, Google Earth showed this one spot that I wanted to go to, and it was further than Kalibogi, and it was totally out of light pollution, but it was going to take me about an hour to get there, maybe a little longer, and I had to be there for 1.30 in the morning, so I worked all day. I was exhausted, so everything came into place except I was too tired. I was just, and driving all the way up there in the middle of the night, it, you know, my wife was like, yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I had called my brother and he had worked all day too. He was, cause I gave him the Fujifilm X-T1 and he's interested in the astrophotography. So I was gonna pick him up and, uh, but he was the same, he was too tired. So we're gonna have to plan it some other time, maybe when I'm on vacation in July or August, because I do know, I did check on Google Earth and the Milky Way is in a perfect position in this one area. It's, uh, it's on the Madawaska River. Well, it's actually Centennial Lake. I can show that on the map right now too, exactly where I wanna go. But uh, it's, uh, it has an island off in the distance and I have a really powerful flashlight. 
So it would be really an experiment more than anything trying to see if I could light paint the island. And if it's a really calm night too, I was hoping for the reflection of the Milky Way on the river because it's, it's a perfect place for it. Anyways, that's for the future if I do get around to doing it. I have the Nikon uh, 14 to 30 uh, wide angle lens. And uh, one of the things I've noticed so far with a lot of the pictures that I'm taking with this lens is I'm getting a lot of vignetting. Um, and I'm sure that's down to shutter speed, aperture, those settings. I wasn't expecting that when I got this lens. I didn't really research it that much. I just knew that I needed a wide angle lens for this camera and I wanted to stick with Nikon. So that's why I got this lens. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. I just haven't had time to sit there and actually, maybe I'll do a video on that, on uh, the VIG netting and how to either overcome it and what settings to use on the camera to avoid it happening. I mean, it's not a big deal because you can always crop everything. And the other thing that I haven't really been doing is choosing my image area. And uh, you know, that's the uh, in DX 24 by 16, uh, 30 by 24, and then a box, 24 by 24, and then the 16 by nine. I've just been shooting everything in FX just so I can take full advantage of the uh, 40 megapixels that this camera can do. Now, that's not necessarily a big deal, um, but uh, maybe I'll try it today. Uh, maybe I'll try doing some uh, 24 by 24 shots, boxing it in a bit more. Uh, okay. All right, so that's it for today. I might actually, because uh, there's no rush to get home today. I don't know what time it is right now. Yeah, it's only 12.25. So I might actually take some shots here. I'm going to walk down the trail and try and get some other shots down there. And then I'm probably going to head over to Pakenham and uh, get some shots there, even though I've photographed the crap out of those rapids there and the uh, five-span bridge. I just want to get out. I am actually seeing a shot right now that might work out. But... Uh, Okay, so hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. That was insane. <clears throat> when I walk further down, the uh, rapids are intense. And one thing I never accounted for, and I apologize, is uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear me from the noise of the rapids. I'm just walking across this little bridge here. There's a view down. Yeah, crazy. Uh, I think I'll take you guys back to where, I mean, you would have seen the drone footage by now, but I'll just walk you back over to where I was because uh, it's pretty intense. And boy, did I ever take a chance flying the drone through here because, uh, well, I wouldn't say I'm not a, an experienced drone flyer. I, I know how to fly the drone. 
But uh, I'll just coming down here to where I was. This is like madness. It's insane. Like it's not a waterfall or anything, but they're pretty intense rapids. I, I think I saw some kayakers earlier. Brave souls, I wouldn't go in here. This is one area right here. It's like, I don't know if the GoPro is really picking that up that well, but it goes all the way down there. And uh, the channel splits. It splits, uh, there's this little island here. I actually uh, took some shots here, some long exposures with the, uh, the island, that big rock face there as my subject. And then I did a long exposure with uh, giving the creamy look with the rapids. I had the uh, ND64 neutral density filter on. I was shooting them handheld uh, at a quarter of a second. And on the back of the display, they looked okay. I mean, it's a very precarious area. This slopes right down into the water and I'm not about to set the tripod up there. All right, so yeah. And I'm, I apologize for the noise, but that's what happens when you're around a crazy place. <laughs> oh my God, this is friggin' nuts. And you gotta watch where you're walking in here. There's like rocks and stuff all over the place. I mean, it's a worn trail, but yeah, you gotta be careful, yeah. Brayside, Blakeney, Blakeney Rapids. Good place to come. Lots of places to shoot photos. And it's nice in the summer, in the, ev in the evenings. You know, like midsummer around July, August. I actually thought the bugs would be crazy when I came in here, but they're actually not that bad. I, I saw all those mayflies earlier. Oh, did I take a wrong turn here? No, I think I'm okay. Yeah, pretty easy to get lost in here. I mean, you just follow the river. But, uh, yeah. And they cut back quite a bit of the bush just walking through the trail here. Yeah, I was glad I came out. I hope these shots turn out. Have to do a little bit in post-production and everything. Uh, I think I'm going this way. So I guess uh, I'll head up to Pakenham now, but it's probably going to be crowded up there. It's a bit of a tourist spot with the five span bridge and you get too much human paraphernalia in your background shots, like people with their trucks and boats and all that other fun stuff. I've never been down that area. I don't know where that goes. But uh, maybe I'll explore that sometime. Just heading back to the car. That's the beauty of this spot too. It's not a long hike. Not uh, like uh, Eagle's Nest up at Calabogia. I've been up there once. My brother keeps bugging me. He wants me to go up there with him, but I'm not sure I'm gonna. I mean, I go for a walk so all the time, trying to get in shape. Oh my God, that would make a cool shot if you could see the uh, tree right there. Maybe in the fall when the leaves are changing colors. Yeah, I could probably get down to that rock right there. Probably get right down to that rock right there and get a shot of that tree in the fall with all the colors. I'm gonna have to try that. Okay, well, I'm almost back at the car here. Oh. I took some of that super green powdered mix. It's, it's just like that AG1 stuff all the other YouTubers drink. Sure gives you a good boost. Yep, car's still there and nobody stole it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, yeah, we're still there. 
Time to head home and no, Pakenham. Going up to Pakenham. Okay guys, I'll see ya when I get to Pakenham and if I don't, thumbs up, like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later.